Let's go to understand first what is yield. Yield describes essentially how our desired reaction performs. We're talking about reaction here. It's the moles of desired product form, actually moles of in this case will be C2H4 form, divided by the moles. This is very important, guys. I know it's large, but you need to understand it. And actually, it makes more sense when we use it rather than we read it. So just don't worry, you're going to see it later. The moles that would have reacted if there were no side reactions. So imagine we have no side reactions and the limiting reactant will react completely. This is very important, guys. Pay a lot of attention in the second point. Limiting reactant will react completely. So how many moles we will produce of these if we actually had no reaction 2, no reaction 3, remember here before? If we have no reaction here, no reaction here, and our limiting reactant, which of course will be this one, because it's the only one, if we, if we react everything to this equation, how much do we actually produce? And the, the thing you want to know here is the yield of A should increase because the more moles of A you produce, the more, I don't know, the more we get of it. So actually, this one here needs to go up, and this one here are actually a constant. Constant. So the more we increase yield, the more we produce of our product. And now we're going to talk about selectivity. Selectivity, as it sounds, is how we how the system selects the reaction, either it could select one, it could select two, or it could, it could actually also select three. So let's do it. Selectivity, how the reaction arranges to produce our desired component. And this is more about the reactions rather than the moles being formed. So moles of desired product form, okay, yeah, that's true. But we're going to compare it with the moles of undesired product. So let me just tell you, sorry guys. This is non-desired, non-desired, and non-desired. And this here is the desired, the square one. So we're going to, com to compare. We could actually use A, B, C, and this will be F, or, or P, P our product. So we will have, generally, this subscript, which means selectivity of product compared to A, selectivity of our product compared to B, and selectivity of our product compared to C. We will have different numbers, especially, you know, we want to increase this, so the larger number we have in selectivity, the better, because we will have more desired products form compared to the undesired products. So, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. As it increases, the moles of A are being 